Philippines is home to more than 7,000 islands, so naturally, the country is highly regarded for its pristine islands and beaches. However, Philippine waterfalls are another type of natural attraction that the country is proud of. Waterfalls in the Philippines are incredible natural creations. They are both wonderful and powerful. Getting to them is an adventure in itself, as they are tucked in jungles and mountains. There are hundreds of waterfalls spread across the country. Every region possesses at least one. In places like Cebu in the Visayas and Lake Cebu in Mindanao, you will find at least two to three waterfalls in one area. Laguna, just a few hours away from Manila's capital, houses some gorgeous waterfalls. Meanwhile, Iligan City in Mindanao is called the City of Majestic Waterfalls as it is home to about 20 waterfalls. Although the Philippines has an overwhelming number of waterfalls, there are ones that stand out because of their beauty and unique qualities. Here are the top Philippines waterfalls you should consider visiting. Pulang Bato Falls Pulang Bato Falls sits in the Okoy Valley in the Valencia town Negros Oriental. It is often referred to as the Red River because of the surrounding red color rocks you will see around the falls. Pula is the Filipino word for red. At the foot of the waterfalls lie swimming lagoons filled with fresh water coming from the falls. Expect Pulang Bato's water to be cool because it comes from the mountains that enjoy a moderate to cool temperature. The swimming area at the foot of the waterfalls is deep. Brave visitors would usually climb the nearby rocks and dive straight toward the water basin. Pulang Bato Falls is surrounded by thick vegetation and trees. It is considered unique because of its layered structure. At the first tier, the cascade begins narrowly. It eventually widens as it moves down to the succeeding levels. At a distance, this waterfall looks triangular. Guests can rent rustic huts. There are also small stores near the falls area that sell light snacks. The access point for Pulang Bato is the town of Valencia. The waterfall is only a 20-minute ride from Dumagate City. Trips to the Pulang Bato are usually included in Dumagate tours, but you can also hire a rental service to bring you to the site. Cesaroro Falls Cesaroro Falls is another prominent waterfall that is also located in the town of Valencia, Negros Occidental. It is considered to be the most popular cascade in the region and is widely photographed. Cesaroro has become an iconic Negros province landmark. This waterfall is tucked within the hilly landscape of Valencia. It stands at the foot of Mount Talinas. To access the site, you will need to do some trekking. Concrete paths and a 350-step staircase lead to Cesaroro. Cesaroro is a narrow, single-layer waterfall, but it's powerful and high, standing at 100 feet above the water. There is usually a large volume of water flowing from this waterfall. This sheer volume is responsible for the roaring sound this waterfall makes. The water basin beneath the falls is deep and cold. From the basin, the water falls further down into a stream. Huge rocks sit around the basin. Travelers who join a Kisororo Falls tour usually use these rocks as a place to rest and just enjoy the view of the tall waterfall. Cesaroro is about 9.4 kilometers west of Dumagate City. From Dumagay, you can go to Valencia Town first. From there, you can take a motorcycle driver to take you to the trailhead. Meg Aso Falls Negros Occidental will not disappoint you when it comes to waterfalls. One of the region's pride is Mag Aso Falls. This attraction is located in Orangayo, Cabancalan City, south of the capital Bacolod City, in Negros Occidental. Mag Aso is less known to domestic tourists coming from Manila. However, its beauty deserves attention. This waterfall features clear blue water and generates a mist that mesmerizes people. The local word Aso means mist. Mag Aso stands at 120 feet, 37 meters, high and drops into this deep swimming basin. To access the falls, you will need to climb down a set of stairs with about 108 steps. There's a small entrance fee to Mag Aso, as there is a resort beside it. This resort is owned and operated by the small government. The resort has rooms for visitors who want to stay overnight. If you're visiting on a day trip, you can still rent one of the cottages in the area. Aside from the waterfalls, you can also swim in the man-made pool. The pool water comes from the falls, and it is shallow enough for children to swim in it. Asik Asik Falls Tucked in the Alameda region of North Cotabato, 
Asaka Sick Falls is one of the most unique falls you will ever find in the Philippines. No one knows how this incredible natural attraction came about. Asik Asik was either not always there or was not noticed by locals. It was discovered around 2010 and became quickly popular. Thick and lush vegetation decorates the rock face and adds to the dramatic look of Asik Asik. Asik Asik is a towering 20-meter high rock mountain with several holes that emit cold water seemingly coming from within the rock. The streams of water coming out from the mountain cover its entire 140-meter width and look more like a natural water curtain instead of the usual cascades. The water goes down directly to a river instead of a water basin. The water level of the river is shallow enough for small kids to bathe in it. To reach Asik Asik, you need to descend the 1,500 steps wrapped around the rock mountain. Reaching Asik Asik is an adventure in itself, as it is situated in a remote region of North Cotabato. The fall is specifically located near Sitio Dulayo, Dado Village, Alameda. Davao City and Cotabato City are the two nearest main cities to the falls. Merlo K Falls Merlo K Falls proves to be one of the most breathtaking waterfalls in the Philippines. It is not too high or too powerful, but it is gorgeous with a very relaxing ambiance. The waterfall is made up of two tiers, with the second one being the most prominent. The first tier is shorter at 5 meters and is made up of rock formation layers. The best thing about going up the first tier is you get an interesting bird-eye view of the second tier. Merlot Cay's second tier is the main attraction standing at about 10 meters. From the top, the water flows into a 15-meter wide wall that looks like a set of stairs. The water flow is consistent enough that it creates this liquid white curtain appearance. Lush vegetation surrounds the falls, and a shallow natural pool is located underneath. Merlo Cay Falls is located in Barangay Sibulayo, about 78 kilometers from Zamboanga City. Visitors tend to book a van or drive their car to reach the falls. From the entrance point, you need to hike downhill for about 500 meters, 300 steps to reach Merlo Cay. Because of its remoteness, the area surrounding Merlo Cay Falls maintains its natural look. Drinking, eating, and leaving trash at the falls area are not permitted. Tinago Falls Tinago Falls is one of Lanao del Norte's natural wonders and main tourist attractions. The name Tinago means hidden in Tagalog. For many years, Tinago was kept hidden and virtually unknown to tourists. At 240 feet high, Tinago commands instant admiration to anyone who visits it. Huge rock formations, tall trees, and thick vegetation serve as its background. The water that comes from Lanao Lake does not only flow through one area of the waterfall, there is also water that flows from the many holes scattered around the large rock wall. This feature gives Tinago its dramatic appearance. Its water basin is another striking feature of this waterfall. This deep basin is filled with blue-green colored water that's simply breathtaking to watch. Tinago Falls is located in Iligan City. The nearest airport to the attraction is the Laguindingan International Airport in Cagayan de Oro. From Cagayan de Oro, you need to drive about one and a half, 64 kilometers, to get to Iligan City. Once you reach the entrance of Tinago Falls, you need to descend around 500 steps to get to the base. Pagsanjan Falls Pagsanjan Falls is one of the most popular Laguna tourist spots and one of the most recognizable waterfalls in the country. It was originally called Magdapayo Falls. Pagsanjan Falls is high and powerful, standing at around 300 feet, 9.44 meters. It has three tires and a very deep water basin. Like other waterfalls in the list, Pagsanjan is surrounded by rock boulders and lush vegetation, with mountains in the distance. There are two ways to reach the base of the waterfall. The first way starts from Keventy Town. This road is more challenging as it requires some hiking and rappelling. The second way is the more popular choice among tourists. This way involves a banca, local canoe, ride with the boatman guiding you around the base of the waterfalls. If you are feeling adventurous, book the shooting the rapids tour. This raft experience involves descending downstream at a fast speed and going into a cave right past the base of the waterfalls. The actual Pag St. John Falls is located in the town of Keventi. But if you would like to take a boat ride, then you need to head to Pagsanjan Town. There is a tourism office in the town that offers information about boat tours, 
You can also pre-book a Pag Sanjin Falls tour for a hassle-free trip. Maria Cristina Falls Maria Cristina Falls is one of the most powerful waterfalls in the country. At the height of 320 feet, 97 meters, this fall's strong current can generate about 200 megawatts of electricity. Maria Cristina is important to Mindanao as it provides 70% of the island's electricity. Maria Cristina is often called the Twin Falls because a rock below the falls divides the flow of water, making it appear that there are two sets of cascades. Due to its strong current, swimming is not allowed in the area. The waterfall is still available for viewing, but only during Saturdays, Sundays, and special holidays when the hydroelectric power plant is closed. If the power plant operates, there is less water flow in the review. The three-arty floor of the power plant, National Power Corporation, has a viewing deck and glass room where you can admire the waterfall. The National Power Corporation also developed a nature park in the waterfall area. Here, tourists can enjoy outdoor activities like trekking and rock climbing and visit a souvenir shop. You will find Maria Cristina Falls in the suburbs of Iligan City, bordered by Barangay Buruun, Ditokalan, and Maria Cristina, Tinui and Falls. Locals proudly call Tinui and Falls the crown jewel of Surigao del Sur. The province is proud of this attraction for its natural, captivating beauty. Tinui N is about 180 feet, 55 meters tall and 311 feet wide, 95 meters. Tinuian's width is its most impressive asset and is what makes it unique among other waterfalls in the country. It's considered one of the widest waterfalls in the Philippines. People call it the Little Niagara Falls of the Philippines because of its similarity to the famous waterfall of Canada. Tinuian Falls has three tiers located in a thick jungle setting. The tiers have their natural pools, where you can relax and take a dip. To reach the upper tier, you will need to climb up a paved stairway on the side. On the second tier, visitors tend to ride on bamboo rafts to reach the wall of the waterfall where water flows. Tinui An is also known for its rainbow that shows up between 9 to 11 am every day. Tinui An has a small playground, some cottages, and picnic tables. You will find this waterfall in Barangay Burbonian, about 18 kilometers from Bislig's town center. Lemun Sudan Falls Lemun Sudan Falls is not as widely known as the ones included in the list. Nonetheless, this waterfall deserves mention due to its beauty and magnificence. At 870 feet, 265 meters, High Limon Sudan Falls is one of the highest waterfalls in the Philippines. Limon Sudan Falls is set within the boundaries of Lanao del Sur, Lanao del Norte. Its jumping point is the town of Talacag, Bukinyan. From the town center, you will need to travel to the falls using a car or a local motorcycle transport called Habal Habal. The site has a viewing deck that also serves as an entrance to Lemon Sudan. The viewing deck gives you a panorama of the entire waterfalls. From the viewing deck, you can choose to trek further down to the waterfall's bottom stream. This trek lasts for about an hour. The local Hegeanon people believe that spirits live around Lemon Sudan. Thus, Guides usually pray to the spirits before letting visitors trek down the waterfalls. Take note that the trail down is narrow, steep, and often muddy. You are not allowed to swim as the currents are strong and dangerous. Falls in the Philippines are generally affordable tourist destinations. Although you need to pay entrance fees to access most of them, such fees do not exceed 2 USD. During your visit, be sure to bring your snacks and drinks. Bringing extra clothes and wearing proper footwear like hiking shoes are also important. You can find some waterfall restaurants in the Philippines, but the remote waterfalls usually don't have convenient tourist infrastructures. Local government units typically maintain the Philippine waterfalls, and most of them are available to the public. It is the responsibility of every visitor to keep the waterfall surroundings clean. Before leaving, make sure to clean up after yourself and bring any trash with you. Expect that the best Philippine waterfalls are located in secluded spots. Compared to other tourist spots, they are relatively harder to get to. You may also need to do some hiking and climbing to reach them. Because these natural attractions are not commercialized and not easily accessible, their beauty remains unspoiled. Sandy beaches may be what the Philippines is known for, but waterfalls are its best kept secret.